Hey guys, today I'm going to make a quick video on reading spark plugs on methanol. I have a feeling I'm going to regret doing this, uh, but this is how I do this. Please don't message me or call me or send me pictures of your spark plugs asking me to do this for you. Um, these are just some kind of tips of how I go about it. Um, again, these are not, I'm not going to tell you how to tune your car. I'm just going to tell you how I look at this stuff and uh, how I make adjustments based off of what I see in a spark plug. So the EFI system and every sensor under the sun is going to tell you what it thinks this guy right here saw. Okay. This is the witness and your O2 sensor is the guy around the corner who thinks he saw something. Um, sometimes this witness can get shot uh, if you don't know what you're doing and you listen to the guy around the corner for advice. So what, what I mean by that is um, the O2 sensor, the EGTs, the, the, all of it, you know, intake air temp, all of it is going off of, uh, you know, the outcome after the event that this just saw, just created actually, not saw, but... So the spark plug doesn't lie. Um, that doesn't mean that your O2 sensor and all that kind of stuff don't matter. It, it does matter. They're very good reference points. EGT is good reference points. But um, there's a good chance that you'll chase EGTs. And while you're chasing EGTs, you burn the tips off of one of these or, um, or you slow way down. So the spark plug doesn't lie. So what I have here is a whole slew of spark plugs um they're not really organized by a set i just kind of grabbed a whole bunch of examples uh to show you you know what's what and, and what to look for uh, the first thing i'm going to point out is these right here so if you know how to read gas spark plugs you're probably looking at this and going oh, okay well that kind of maybe kind of looks semi-familiar this plug these plugs here um all four of those was from way too much top lube in the fuel. So don't get too uh, hell bent on that. If you use top lube in the fuel, in your fuel, um, reading spark plugs is going to be a little bit different. They're not going to be as clean looking. This customer, uh, I know where these plugs came from. This customer thought that you were supposed to put a bottle of top lube in five gallons instead of 55 gallons. So he had about 10 times too much top lube in it. So uh, there's another one from him. So just something quick to point out that if you screwed up and put too much top lube in it, you're going to have a plug that looks like it was uh, drowned in oil because it basically was. So um, let's get to it. That's a brand new spark plug. A little scratched up because it's been rolling around, but that's a brand new spark plug. So if you pull out... A spark plug out of your engine and it looks like this I wasn't firing that guy wasn't firing this wasn't in an engine this just came out of my drawer but you know that's a brand new plug and if it looks like that when it comes out that thing wasn't firing so when guys who tune methanol and read spark plugs say man that plug came out looking brand new it doesn't look like that it uh I'm gonna shut this light off so my Beyonce stuff's bitching. There we go. All right. So that one didn't light that because it was never in an engine. Now, let's look at some plugs that look like what most people would say, man, that plug came out and it looked brand new. So this one here, this doesn't look brand new, but um, it doesn't look like it's been abused for sure. So the... First thing that I look for when when looking at a uh, methanol spark plug, right? And this is all these are all from a turbo application. Hopefully you can see this. So if you look there, it's still shiny around this base ring. So this is your base ring. Or this is what I call a base ring. Um, so this is your base ring, right? And if anybody who's really good at doing this is watching this video, you probably do it better than me. And I'm not here to debate it. I don't really care. Uh, if you could make a video and teach me something, that'd be fantastic because I would genuinely appreciate it. Um, if you 
don't read spark plugs and you think that you need to hook up some oscilloscope to your spark plug wire and then you plug it into a drive shaft speed sensor and then you have a whole friggin' lab hooked up to the back of your car because that's the only way that you can tune, um, then you should make a video of you hooking all that shit up too. I'd like to see that as well. So I would subscribe. I would like and subscribe like you should be doing to my channel. So and back to this. This guy right here is a really safe plug, all right? So this base ring is still shiny. Let me grab this guy. There we go. So the one on the left is a brand new plug. The one on the right was ran in an engine. Looked pretty damn similar. So none of the cadmium is burnt off of the plug on the right on the base ring, just on the strap, right? So when you pull a plug out of an engine that looks like this, this is an indicator that it has, that it's rich. Now that doesn't necessarily mean that it's a bad thing, um, but it is rich, okay? So rich within reason is safe with methanol. And I mean that with within reason. So that plug still being shiny on the base ring tells me that I look at it a couple different ways. One, do I chase a spark plug to make it look perfect before I run out of boost? No, I don't want to run out of boost first. So I, I like to run out of boost first. And what I mean by running out of boost is you've pinned the gate shut and the thing just doesn't make any more boost. Um, no matter what you do, it won't make more boost. So when we get to that point, that's when we start chasing down this plug. So this plug here, let's just assume that um, we've ran out of boost. And now we want to start getting a little bit more power out of that cylinder. So we see how, how shiny that guy is, right? Now I gotta cut my nails, it's pretty bad. Anyway, um, we see how shiny that plug is, right? So we wanna put a little bit of heat in that plug. So there's a couple different ways to put heat in a plug, right? Um, we could add timing or we could remove fuel, or if you're an idiot, you do both of those at the same time and hope for the best. Um, I say that because you shouldn't be making big adjustments uh, at the same time. You should be making small steps. That's the term creeping up on it. Um, I don't care how, how long it takes you. I'd much rather hear that somebody made 40 passes creeping up on it than one pass kamikazeing it and then um, spitting the crank out of the bottom of it, right? We're burning up something so creep up on it so maybe this plug we look at it and we say hey this plug came out of a car and uh, this is hypothetical this plug came out of the car and it was three three air fuel let's try to lean it out to three four air fuel see if we pick up right so let's just assume all eight plugs came out looking like this which usually never happens um so if we start to lean this out we're going to start to see a little bit more cadmium burn on it so if you notice don't mind my sausage fingers from here to here it's kind of hard to see but that's still shiny the cat is still on there right so from here to here the cat is still on there so what happens is the heat works its way down the strap and it starts creeping right creeps all the way around until you start burning all the cat off of the top of the base ring and then it starts working its way down the threads okay um some guys will and again this this video is not to tell you how to tune your car with uh with methanol based off of spark plugs but this is kind of just some uh fundamentals right some guys will tune them so that they're hey they burnt all the way down to two threads i don't do that my stuff also lives for multiple years, so um, I don't like blowing shit up because it's expensive, so uh, I will err on the side of caution and um, play it safe. So anyway, this plug to me is starting to show heat in the base ring, right? So we went from, and again, don't be afraid to spit on it, right? It's going to be kind of hard to see, but... You can get your finger wet and kind of wipe and you'll see if it wipes away it's still kind of glossy up to here right 
So we've got about a 180 degree burn or let's, let's say 50%, right? So I, I like to try to shoot for a 50% burn across the base um, when it comes to fueling. Now, the strap is where you're gonna see the timing mark. So this guy right here, out here at the tip, is just starting to give us a timing mark, all right? So what that means is the more timing we apply to this thing, is going to creep down here, all right? As it creeps down this, uh, creeps down around the bend, what it's gonna do is, hold on a second, there we go. Sorry, I had some phone calls coming in. So what it's gonna do is it's going to creep, that timing mark's gonna come down the bend. As we add timing, you see that timing mark creep its way down around the bend. Usually when it gets to about here, um, this guy decides to leave and exit stage right. And what that means is, is that this right here, the strap, um, it goes, burns off. So for safety, right? For, 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 the, for the person that's gonna look at their engine and wanna tune their engine based off of spark plugs the way I kinda tune mine, and I tune customers, is I don't wanna see this timing mark start coming down too far, all right? So we get past this bend, we're in a problem. We're in a danger zone here, okay? So this is the highway to the danger zone is down here for your timing mark. Um, if you have a, here's another good one. Let me find a good one here. My eyes are shit, so bear with me here. All right. No, not that one. How's that one? Eh, I, like, I like this guy right here. All right. Here's another example. So, we've got a timing mark here. Here's the tip. If you notice, here's the bend down here, right? And I, like, drew on this with a marker so you can see purple instead of silver on silver. But, um... The timing mark is here. So if we look at it from the side, we notice we're just about at the bend, right? But CAD on the base ring is still shiny. So we haven't really burnt off any of the CAD on the base ring, all right? So with that said, this is a plug that's got a little bit of timing in it and too much fuel. So some people would say, okay, we just need to lean this plug out, right? If we lean this plug out, this timing mark is heat, okay? So that's, that's a heat marker. The fuel is keeping it cold. This plug, in my opinion, is right where you want the timing mark to be if you're really getting after it, you're really getting aggressive with it, right? But the plug's too rich. So what I would do with this plug is I would pull a degree or two out of this plug, and then I would also lean it up. Because the way I like to approach this is, Fuel keeps it cool, right? Um, timing, too much of it will turn into a bomb. So you've got a, a base ring here that the cat is not burnt off of at all. My target is pretty much 50%, right? So we want we want from there down burnt, right? So we want, we want 90 degrees from the base strap here, base, the, the base of the strap to, uh, along the base ring, and 90 degrees over here, right? So we get... From there down, you know, all this down here, we want to burn the cat off of there. From here up, in a perfect world, we want this thing to still be shiny. Is there power left on the table by doing that? Yes, there is. There is power left to be doing that. Power left on the table by leaving the base ring, half of the base ring, uh, uh, new looking, right? Um, I'm not going to go any further into getting more aggressive with the tune-up because then y'all will be sending me pictures of melted spark plugs. Be like, look what you did, bro. You told me to, you know, lean it out. I'm not telling you to do anything. I'm just giving you some uh, some advice, some, some tips on how I go about this. So if I get the message, I get the whatever, the comment of, uh, you know, you blew up my shit, um, this is the part of the video where I call you an idiot. So. In, uh, to recap here, you burn all this off, probably got a little bit, it probably needs a little bit more fuel. You put your timing mark all the way down here, probably need to pull a couple degrees of timing out of it, maybe one or two. So, the, in, in my opinion, 
the way I tune them, run out of boost first, then start to lean it out while keeping an eye on the timing mark. And then once you've got the, uh, the fuel where you want it, um, you can you know start to apply timing if your timing mark is up here, all right? Or if it's not even existing. So that's another thing. The most, uh, most guys don't even have a timing mark on their plug. Um, but here's one, but this one's like all the way out at the edge of the tip. So might be a little hard to see, but you can see that color change right there. That's a timing mark like just starting. That guy is just starting, right? So this, in my opinion, this spark plug, again, we've got 180 degree burn or of the 360 degree circle, you know, 50%, a little over 50%, but close. Um, and then we've got a timing mark all the way out here at the tip. This plug could afford to have a degree, maybe two degrees put in it. If we're gonna put a degree or two degrees in this thing, what I'm gonna do is I'm also going to put a little bit more fuel in this cylinder. So the reason being is as you apply more timing to that hole, it's gonna get hotter. If it gets hotter, it still has the same volume of fuel in it to keep that cylinder cool. So as we increase the timing in this hole, if we put a degree or two in it, then, um, then we want to also fatten it up a little bit, put a little bit of fuel in it. So maybe if we put two degrees in it, maybe we put three or 4% fuel in it, um, depending on what your fuel flow numbers are. So, you know, just kind of do a little bit of math and figure out how far uh, out left field you are. You know what I mean? If you have, if you've got 3% going into a single hole and you're flowing 5,000 pounds per hour of fuel, that's a lot of fuel. So just kind of, you know, keep that in the back of your mind. So in, uh, Closing, your plugs could look all different types of ways, but hopefully this video kind of explains to you how to make it happy. This right here is a pretty damn happy plug in my opinion. If we look right here, see that? We got a CAD burn from here around to here. This plug here, we got enough heat in it where we're starting to burn it down. Right here is our, is our timing mark. This plug's pretty happy, in my opinion. Um, I'm sure there's going to be other people that have things to say about that, but that one's pretty happy to me. So hopefully this helps. Um, don't ask me to tune your stuff. Don't ask me to read your spark plugs. Don't, uh, don't call me. Uh, go to our website and buy some shit. Um, yeah. We got a bunch of those in the stock too. Lightweight ECUs. We got a bunch of the other ones in the stock too. So, go and buy something. Bye.